Arkansas Supreme Court has joined with the Arkansas Bar Association to create the Arkansas Access to Justice Commission. Our goal is to improve civil legal aid to the poor. You may not know just how great that need is in our state. Regrettably, we rank 48th in the country in per capita funding for legal aid for the poor. There are 118,000 families living in poverty in our state, representing over 555,000 people. That's 20% of our citizens who are underserved when it comes to justice. And when I speak of those who are shut out by economic realities, I'm talking about people on the edge. To qualify for legal aid in Arkansas, you must not earn more than $12,250 a year, or for a family of four, no more than $25,000. And when we talk about offering free civil legal aid, let me stress that our legal services staff are not taking on cases expected to result in fee awards. These are cases concerning basic human needs, such as domestic violence, child support, disability, housing, and elder care. For six years now, federal funding for this critically needed legal aid has been slipping away. In 2005, our legislature stepped up to the problem and for the first time provided funds by increasing court case refiling fees. But let's be candid about our legal aid system. It is still underfunded and overworked. But with a dedicated staff and volunteer pro bono partners, we are making a difference every day in the lives of our campus. <laughs> U.S. Supreme Court Justice Lewis Powell, Jr. once wrote, Equal justice under law is not merely a caption on the facade of the Supreme Court building. It is, perhaps, the most inspiring ideal of our society. It is one of the ends for which our entire legal system exists. It is fundamental that justice should be the same in substance and availability without regard to economic status. That fundamental ideal, enshrined by our founders, has remained a hallmark of our society's commitment to the rule of law. And that rule of law has maintained this country during difficult times throughout our 120-year history. I am speaking these words during the week commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Central High School crisis, when the presence of nine black young people at an all-white school challenged the Constitution and the concept of equal justice. President Eisenhower rose to the occasion by sending in federal troops to maintain not only equal justice, but constitutional principles as well. Those of us working in legal aid uphold that critical ideal of equal justice by providing legal help to those without the economic resources to afford it for themselves. This is the same justice in substance that every citizen is due. What is currently missing, however, in the quote of Justice Powell, is the availability factor. Justice is not available in Arkansas or any state for those who need it. In 2006, the legal aid organizations in Arkansas received 24,400 calls for help. Only 14,300 could be helped because of limited staff available. That meant we turned away 42% of those who needed legal advice. 
That does not include the thousands of people who needed help but for whatever reasons did not contact legal aid. National studies indicate that with these individuals and families added to the data, some 80% of citizens needing legal help do not receive it. That study applied to the Arkansans, 486,000, who are eligible low-income citizens, means that each year the legal needs of over 194,000 Arkansans are unmet. If we are going to live up to the highest ideals of our society, we must find ways to close this gap. Congress, the single largest funder of legal aid in Arkansas, is moving to redress part of this shortfall. But our state legislature must make a commitment to this fundamental principle as well by establishing a general revenue civil legal aid fund as have 26 other states. The state must invest in the ideal of equal justice if we are ever going to match need with availability. As Justice Powell so eloquently stated, we want equal justice under law to be the reality of our entire legal system. You can help make this happen by supporting the efforts of the two legal aid organizations in the state as well as the Arkansas Access to Justice Commission. Make justice happen.